Hi, my name is Brandon Pressler and I'm a civil engineering tech student at Orange Georgetown Technical College. In this video, you will gain a basic understanding of the classifications of roads such as arterials, collectors, and locals, and what determines their classification. Now that everything is said and done, the video can continue. What you are looking at now is Highway 31 and this is an arterial road. Arterial roads include freeways, multi-lane highways, and other roadways that help the interstate system. Their speeds vary from 50 to 70 miles per hour. They connect the nation's principal urbanized areas, cities, and industrial centers. Land access is limited. They can be either rural or urban arterial roads. They are also subdivided into categories like principal arterial and minor arterial. According to Ms. Bartholomew, US 31 would be considered a minor arterial road. Now, interstates are the highest classification of roadways in the US and are also considered arterial roads. Their speeds vary from 55 to 75 miles per hour. They provide the highest level of mobility and the highest speeds over the longest uninterrupted distances. Interstate roads also consist of urban and rural roads. A good example would be the new I-73 road. This is Robert M. Grissom Parkway, and it is a road that I use every single day. I just found out that this road is what is called a collector road. Collectors are major and minor roads that connect local roads and streets with arterial roads. Collectors provide less mobility than arterials at lower speeds and for shorter distances. This is Highway 17, and it is to a collector road. They are able to balance mobility with land access. Their speeds vary from 35 to 55 miles per hour. This is Monica Drive and it is the road that connects from my house to US Route 90. It is what is considered a private local road. They provide limited mobility and are the primary access to residential areas, businesses, farms, and other local areas. Their speeds vary from 20 to 45 miles per hour. This is Lyons Lane and it also is a private local road. The local roads are divided into smaller categories like public local roads and private local roads. Most of the roads in the U.S. consist of local roads. Hi, it's me again. Right now, we're going to talk about ways that can help you understand how engineers determine what type of road is what. There's a diagram that will help you better understand how you can determine whether a road is an arterial road, collector road, or local road. Also, there's a diagram that will help you see the difference in mobility and land access between the different types of roads. For all those viewing this and not in the class, I will provide a link below that way you too will be able to understand. All of the information that was provided to you with this video I was able to obtain from the U.S. Department of Transportation website, which I will also provide a link for below. When you get to the diagram, it will be obvious which is which and very easy to understand. The mobility and land access will look like this one, and the other diagram over here helps you understand what roads look like. It's very simple and easy to understand. For those in the class and are wondering what questions are going to be on the test, those two diagrams are very important, so you might want to look at them. For those who are viewing this, like this if you want, or share it, and we may do more of these videos for you. Right now it's a project, and if we get enough likes or shares, we may eventually do it for fun. I really hope you enjoyed the video and learned something new. Have a great day.